Hello and welcome. I fly X-Plane and make videos about my adventures and exploits. If you find them interesting or educational or helpful or any one of the three combined, uh, then I would be grateful if you could subscribe and like the video. Hope you enjoy what I've put together. Whilst uploading a video for, to YouTube, I, I came across a very old video that I'd made flying from a place called Pound Green, which is southwest of Wolverhampton, to Wolverhampton Hakeney Green. Now, this was in response to a challenge laid down by a colleague of mine who flies flex wings in the real world, and he said, I bet you can't fly your Cessna 150 in X-Plane and land it on 2.8 left, which is a really short uh, grass strip at Hakeney Green. Uh, and the video that I found was the recording of the proof that indeed I could land at Hapney Green in a Tesla 150 on x 11 on 28 left. Revisiting this video I was struck by how different x 12 looks from x 11 and I thought that it would be a good opportunity to try out the V Sky Labs Aeroprat A22 to redo the flight in x 12 and just have a look at the differences. Now I love X-Plane but I think even I would struggle to argue that the base scenery um, is uh, fabulous and doesn't need enhancement. Indeed the fact that you do have to fiddle about with and enhance the scenery uh, and that that's relatively easy to do is one of the things I love the most about X-Plane. So for the X-Plane 11 video it's base scenery plus the GB Pro add-on which can be downloaded from xplane.org. The GB Pro add-on um, puts the towns, villages and cities of Great Britain into the X-Plane scenery and makes it more realistic and more and easier to navigate. Um, it's not, I think, as good as Sim Heaven, um, but it has does have the great advantage of not being massive uh, and so that's what I used on my laptop when I recorded this video. I've subsequently uh, got myself a more powerful machine uh, uh, which has got more disk space and I have Sim Heaven. So the x 12 flight uses the Sim Heaven and also has Orpho photos. One of the big differences in x 11 and x 12 is that in x 11 grass strips and taxiways are very easy to see and in x 12 they're not. Now it has to be said that x 12 is much more realistic in this regard doesn't make it any easier to find the strips and land on them though. One of the challenges with 28 left is that it's offset from the, um, the threshold of 28 right and is also just after one of the crosswise runways. So getting yourself positioned is quite tricky. Speaking to my colleague, crossing the fence at 200 feet puts you in more or less the right position if you want to try this yourself. Right, so that was x 11 and uh, a successful landing with a Cessna 150. Let's try the Aeropract A22 on x 12 and see how we get on. So we find ourselves in the Aeropract A22, uh, taking off from Pound Green, different runway because of the wind, and uh, coming up is my first attempt at split screen in Blender. So the Aeropract A22 is made by V Skylabs. The actual aircraft itself is a high wing light sports aircraft manufactured by Aeropract who come from Ukraine. And, uh, it's got very good stall capabilities. This is my first V Skylabs uh, aircraft and I have to say that I'm very happy with it. It's not as straightforward to fly as you might think but is very rewarding when you get it right. The model features a well laid out analogue panel, standard fit radios 
a simple autopilot, which I have to confess I haven't actually tried yet, and an angle of attack indicator. More on that later. Looking out of the window, uh, the improvements rendered by use of ortho photos, sim heaven, and just x 12, the improved lighting and so on, are um, obvious to the eye, I think. In particular, the accuracy of the sim heaven, placement of buildings, the types of buildings, do make a big difference when you're navigating visually, as I am. It really is a beautiful and very detailed model and looks perfectly at home in the English countryside as rendered by x -Plane. We're now approaching left base for 28 and just see the airfield pointed out by the mouse there. Turning on to final. Progressively slowing down. I'm putting down the flaperons. You see the difference between X plane 11 and X plane 12 fairly clearly here. In the, the runway to the left is just not visible this far out which of course is what it really is like. So we're aiming uh, to cross the fence at 200 feet and just keep a stabilised approach as we come down.
see from the outside. You can see autumn coming. I suppose it's winter now, strictly speaking. Winter coming to the trees. Another split screen, just so that... Uh, well, really, just to demonstrate that I can do it <laughs> as an experiment. It's quite interesting to watch. The landing from different angles. I'm about to get caught out. By accidentally the smoothest landing I've ever made in the aeroprax. I get to this point and you can see my wheels touch on the pitch on the top and I don't realize that I've actually landed. Then I get distracted so I keep the nose back and if you keep the nose back you lose the ability to steer as the aircraft slows down and uh, so you slow, slew off the runway. Let's just contemplate the lesson, shall we? The lesson that it's important to pay attention and concentrate when you're landing. I was so irritated by the first landing that I decided to do a, a quick circuit and have another go. Uh, I wasn't planning to include the second circuit, uh, the second landing in the video. Uh, but I descended a bit steeply on base leg and ended up needing to use the angle of attack indicator which is quite interesting so I've kept it in just to demonstrate that. It's about here that it all begins to go a bit personal. You can see the rate of descent is uh, very high at this point. Which would be alright because the speed's okay. Everything's under control except I'm descending too steeply. So as I come over the fence I realise that I'm not going to make the wrong way. So I start pulling back. And you can see the angle of attack indicator there gives me the two little blue circles which tell me I'm okay and then the red lines start to indicate that I'm, I'm pulling too steeply for the amount of power I've got. So you can hear I increase the engine power and get back into the blue circle in time for landing on the runway. Subsequently I've used the angle of attack indicator quite a lot in um, flying into dirt strips. And uh, 
British Columbia and elsewhere. See it from a different angle. You can hear the engine rev up as I uh, apply more power. then coming in from behind So that's it. Flight from Pan Green to Hapmany Green using the very fine V Sky Labs Aeropract A22 LS um, and an X Plane 12. If you'd like to try the flight for yourself, then the airfields are all in X Plane 12. Uh, there's a link to the V Sky Labs Aeropract A22 LS page and also links to the uh, GB Pro and uh, Sim Heaven websites in the comments uh, below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and if you find the content helpful or interesting or both, please subscribe for more content. Thank you very much.